Hey guys, it's Shannon and John from That DIY Couple. We're going to be doing a little bit of a different video today talking about our weight loss journey and how we lost uh, 160 pounds and how we felt before and after we lost a bunch of weight. I'm a little embarrassed to share some of these photos. I was pretty careful not to appear on social media or take too many pictures when I was at my heaviest, but we really want to inspire people to let them know that it's possible, if you set your mind to it, to lose the weight that you need to. I've always been overweight ever since I was pretty young. I started really to gain a lot of weight in high school, and by my senior year of high school I was at my heaviest, which was 275 pounds. I didn't play sports, I didn't exercise, I played a lot of video games, and I was really focused on studying, so I spent a lot of time in my room preparing for college and studying for tests. I didn't really know anything about how to eat, or how to exercise or anything about nutrition. My favorite meals were pizza for lunch, I would have pop tarts for breakfast, and then I would have something that I thought was healthy for dinner, which were chicken Caesar salads from places like Applebee's or Chili's, which I later realized just the dressing alone for those salads can be as bad for you and as caloric as a hamburger. I presented myself throughout high school as someone who didn't really care about how they looked. I had bad acne, I was pretty shy and introverted, it was hard for me to meet people or to make new friends. And I'm not sure if this was the result of being heavy or contributed to me being overweight. But I didn't really have the wherewithal at the time to even realize that I was significantly overweight, which I was. So unlike John, I wasn't really overweight as a child or until really the end of high school. I was a very active youth and I played a lot of sports. I played three varsity sports during high school. And even though I wasn't aware of my nutritional needs or intake, I was able to control my weight for the most part by just being extremely active. I started to put on weight in my senior year of high school when I became very stressed about college admissions. And when I entered college and stopped my physical activity, my weight would slowly climb up to, I believe I was 250 something by the end of college. I lost weight throughout college, but not really in a sustainable way, mostly by accident. I didn't change what I was eating at all, but I did start walking because I had to walk from my dorm to my classes. And I spent a summer in India where I lost about 35 pounds, mostly because I got really sick. After I graduated from college and went to law school, and resume the lifestyle that I had had more in high school, I quickly gained back all the weight that I had lost. So by my third year of law school, I was back at about 265 or 270 pounds. When I graduated from college, I spent a year in Brazil where I lost a lot of weight, but in a really unsustainable way. I was running an hour a day and lifting an hour a day and not really eating enough to support that level of activity. So I harmed my metabolism and when I came back to the United States and began a job, I quickly put on all of that weight and even more. I would put on a significant amount of weight and then I would lose it by doing an insane athletic feat like running a marathon. But then every time I stopped working out or any time I got stressed, my weight would crawl back and each time I gained my weight back, the amount I gained was more. By the time that 2013 2014 rolled around, I weighed the same amount as John. The, the highest I clocked was 258 pounds, but it's possible that I weighed more because I wasn't in the mood to weigh, weigh myself at that time. As a six foot one woman, that was incredibly unhealthy for me. In my mid 20s, I went through a time where I was really depressed. I didn't feel good about myself, I didn't feel good about what I was doing or my outlook in life. I was tired all the time and I would go through pretty significant mood swings where some days I would feel really good and some days I would feel really bad. And I think this was something of a cycle in my life where because I was overweight I felt bad and because I was bad I would eat more food and continue to be overweight. I blamed a lot of this depression during this time of my life on my work and other things but looking back on it I think a significant aspect of it had to do with what I was eating and how much I weighed. I had terrible hormonal cystic acne and 
my blood pressure was high, my cholesterol was high, I suffered from gastrointestinal issues like heartburn and GERD, I was pre-diabetic, I had arthritis at a young age, I got shingles, I had very bad immunity where I would get sick and stay sick for a very long time, I suffered from allergies, and the worst part was that the weight would tend to collect around my stomach, so it was very common for people on the subway to ask me when I was due. And that was always a very devastating question for me because it would really highlight for me how overweight I looked. And so I would, you know, come home and I would just cry. My blood pressure was quite elevated, my cholesterol was high, and I started going to doctors who would prescribe me medication to keep my blood pressure and cholesterol in check. I also have a family history of issues with blood pressure and high cholesterol, which really started to scare me uh, by the time I had turned 30. At that time, I was wearing a size 16 or 18 and shopping in the plus size section of department stores. And the experience of shopping was always really upsetting. I never felt good in my own skin. I never felt like clothing worked for me. And I would sometimes cry in the dressing room when trying things on. At my heaviest, I was wearing a size 16 or 18 pants. And my shirt size was a 1XL. It was very hard for people who loved me and cared about me, like John or my dad, to say anything about my weight because it was such an overwhelming sense of defeat and it made me so upset that it was just an unapproachable topic at home. In general, I just felt each year that I put on weight as though I had gained 10 years and I felt less vibrant, I felt unable to do things that I had previously enjoyed, and I couldn't, I just felt like I was driving myself into an early grave. Right around this time, I started my first serious diet, which was Weight Watchers. I lost about 20 pounds over the course of a few months, um, which I thought was really good, but it required a ton of effort. Uh, every day I was very, very concerned about what I was eating and what I was doing and it ended up taking a lot of time just to think about and track the food that I was eating. He was able to lose 20 pounds fairly quickly and so was I, but unlike me, he kept it off and as soon as I abandoned that program, my weight, came, all of my weight came back. In July of 2016, I felt like I really needed to make a change again. Uh, and I told John that I wanted to find a book that would help with weight loss. So we went into a bookstore and found Eat to Live by Dr. Joel Furman. We read that book over a long car trip and I decided I was so convinced by what it had to say about weight loss but also about nutrition and health to adopt it about a week later. I ended up losing about 70 pounds in total through that diet and also the weight that I had lost before, most of it coming within the first two or three months after I started eating that way. It wasn't until I really saw John adopt that diet and have tremendous results from it that I fully became on board with it. But once I did, I immediately started feeling better and began losing weight. Unfortunately for me, I learned in that process that my body was quite a bit different from John's and where he was able to lose all the weight that he needed to solely as a result of adopting the changes in that plan, I was still staying heavy. For me, the real breakthrough came when I discovered a book called Bright Line Eating by Dr. Susan Pierce Thompson, which has radically transformed my life and really helped me, set me on the path towards losing all the weight that I need to lose. Following that plan, I was able to lose about 10 pounds a month and gain significant feelings of control and happiness over my relationship with food without doing any exercise. I'm now at a weight that I never imagined you know, was possible. Right now, I weigh 180 pounds and I'm six feet five inches tall. I went from wearing a size 38 or 40 pant to a size 32 
I used to wear extra, extra large t-shirts, and now I wear a medium t-shirt. I went from being in the overweight BMI category to now being in the normal range. So today I weighed in at 174, which is a weight that I didn't think was possible. I, the clothing that I'm wearing today is a size 6 pant, which I didn't even in grade school wear. Um, and my, my top is an extra small, which just to hear those words come out of my mouth is insane. I, I never thought that I would be a girl who wore an extra small. <laughs> just because I'm not an extra small girl, I'm 6'1". Today I feel a tremendous amount of energy. I feel younger than, I, I feel like I'm 15 again. I just feel like I can do anything. At 174, my weight is within the normal range of the BMI scale, and I still feel like I have a little bit more to lose, but I feel confident that I will get there if I continue following the plan that I've set up for myself. My acne has cleared up. My um, outlook in life is bright and positive and cheery and optimistic. I feel happy. I don't feel depressed. My mood swings are not bad. I mean, I'll occasionally have mood swings, but they're as a result of true external influences in my life that are, you know, things happen that are upsetting, as opposed to internal discomfort and conflict. My gastrointestinal issues have totally gone away. The arthritis that I was feeling, I do not feel anymore. The, my blood pressure and cholesterol are well within healthy ranges. It's hard to say the effect that this diet has had on my life because it's been so profound and so positive. I have a lot more energy, I've obviously lost a lot of weight, my blood pressure and my cholesterol came down almost immediately as soon as I lost weight and I don't have to take any medications basically at all. By far the most important thing that's happened in my life is that I feel mentally so much better. It's something that I truthfully had no idea would be impacted by what I eat or how much that I weigh, but I feel more optimistic in general, I feel more capable, I feel younger and with sort of more vigor in life than I have probably in my entire life and certainly at least since when I was in college. I feel like I've added decades to my life. In total, we've lost over 160 pounds together. And what we really want to do is to create a series of videos talking about how we lost the weight exactly, what we eat, why we decided to eat that way, as a way to help other people that are in the same journey that we have been on. We would love it if you subscribe to our videos to get updates on when we post new videos about this, um, like, Comment if you have a similar story or you're going through the same journey as we are. We'd love to engage with you. And we feel amazing. We have never been healthier. We've never been happier with our lives and with what we eat. And we'd love to share that with you. So stay tuned for the next video. And we will talk to you very soon.